This code generator works like this. If you need a view model property, you just type in, for instance, first name, and you copy it here into your code behind, and you copy this into your XAML. If you want two properties, you just type them one after another, and they're created here, so you can copy the whole block like that. You can also do, for instance, age integer, so you can do the type of variable, and you see here, down here, age <coughs> is an integer here and here. Uh, you can also do an observable collection, let's say reports, uh, report titles, observables of string, and it'll type all that for you. As an example of how to use these, I created um, this page, <coughs> which allows you to create an iNotified I notified property change page, and I'll give you an example here. We'll hit open Visual Studio, new project, Silverlight application 11, OK, and just open a basic project. Here's the XAML. The namespace is uh, Silverlight application 11, and main page is page. So we'll just go here, main page. <coughs> Silverlight application 11 and then you see that as soon as I type this it, it changes so you just have to type it in copy which makes it kind of easy and paste go back in copy the code behind go back in your code behind and paste and run it and you'll have some basic code that's interactive so you click add reports and it adds 10 reports here you click it again and it adds more. Uh, if you add a report prefix and add reports, then it adds that here. So you see some basic interactivity with these view model properties. And if you look at the code, um, this is the XAML. So you see that, for instance, um, to get that two way action, you have to add mode two way, which is not default in Silverlight. And um, yeah, you just uh, have, for instance, um, the list box report names here. The code behind looks like this, where you have your um, variables like this that are being used down here. You can look at this. But let me, before my five minutes are up, uh, show you that how you can, with the code generator, make some new um, view model properties first name for instance this is the total wrong page yeah. first page uh, first name and just copy it like this go back into your project and copy it at the beginning of your class like this and then if you like you can copy this to save a little typing go back into your XAML and for instance, type text block title or uh, text equals first name there and suck. So if you start it, it runs all right. But what of course you want to do is in uh, XAML, you want to in the constructor define first name uh, default, let's say, and then uh, when the button is clicked. Click Add Reports, uh, change it, first name equals first name was changed, for instance. And then you can kind of see the interactivity of this works quite well. So there it is. Yeah, there you have it. Have fun using the uh, Superlight Code Generator. I should be having some more code up here that makes other things easy as well.